I'm stupid, but I made it work. Anyway, so this is the max height formula. It's so easy, like this is such a simple, amazingly simple formula. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday, another day, another chance to push out. And the topic for this vlog is how to calculate kinetic energy for drones. So let's get it. By the way, all DIY projects right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. <laughs> and oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I spent the last hour with doing math and I was successful. It's kind of sad that it took me one hour, but hey, I arrived at my destination. Whatever. And I also prepared a little presentation for you. And by the way, the reason for that was, well, actually this vlog inspired this vlog, in which I flew the drone, my parent Anafi, for the first time in a snowstorm. That was kind of stupid, but it was kind of fun as well. So check it out. And after a bit of talking with Mo, we were both like unsure about the regulations and laws in Austria and stuff like that. So let's clear that up, all of that. But just for safety reasons, better check the comment section. If there is a pinned comment, I will clarify stuff in this. If there is a mistake for, for whatever, reason in this vlog then I will definitely make sure to clear it up but I think this stuff is valid so let's get right to it so here we have it kinetic energy of drones you know it's called joule let's start with the fall time now this is not really necessary but just that you know fall time t is the square root of two times h which is the height divided by g and the units for time is seconds the unit for height is meters and the unit for g which is the earth acceleration is meters second squared which is 9.81 next we want to know the speed after the fall this is essential for you know later calculations so the speed v is the square root of two times h times g two times the height times earth acceleration and the unit for v is meters per second let's proceed to the kinetic energy the main formula that we want and this is energy equals mass times speed squared divided by two. Oh my god them english skills squared <laughs> and i made it super obvious with like brackets and all this is not necessary but like just to make it super obvious and energy is joule right well this is part two of kinetic energy now i inserted this formula right here speed after fall v in this formula right here and the square root just cancels out so we are left with two times h times g and this is pretty awesome actually so let's get to a few examples 30 meters after the fall so we just well we know the g we know h is 30 and now we can go for some examples when it gets to the mass so check this out here we have the dji spark after 30 meters 300 grams equals 88 joule Parrot Anafi, which is my drone right here, 94 joules. DJI Mavic Air, 126, and the Mavic, well, oh my god, that's a slight mistake right there, sorry. That's actually the Mavic Pro, comes in at 216 joules. Let's move on to the max height formula, and after quite a bit of math, I basically took this formula, well, it would be easy if you take this formula, oh my god, I messed around. I'm stupid, but I made it to work. Anyway, so this is the max height formula. Did I say hate again? My bad. Height. It's so easy. Like this is such a simple, amazingly simple formula. Energy divided by mass times G. So this is, so, this is so cool. Oh my God. I love it. So let's move on to a few examples right here. And again, we just, well, in Austria, there are basically two laws regarding which drones you're allowed to use and own and whatever. First of all, 79 joules of energy. Second of all, 30 meters of max flight height. The joule determine the weight of the drone, or actually they determine the, the flight height, the max flight height, and we will get to that in a second. And you're also not allowed to fly above 30 meters. So this energy rule gives you a bit of playground, but the max height, that, that's, a, like, that's a limit, a hard limit. But before we get to the calculations, just know that these are ideal formulas they do not regard the air resistance. So when we get to calculating the max height, then this is a safe margin for sure because the drone definitely won't fall as fast when there is uh, air resistance slowing down the fall. So you can probably go a bit higher, especially with the light drones because you know they 
float like a feather a bit at least so i think you can actually you know go for the 30 meters especially with the spark and the anafi but yeah now without further ado let's get right to it as i said in austria you're allowed to fly drones up to like you're allowed to generate 79 joules of energy that means we know e we know g and we know the mass so these are examples same examples but now with the max height dji spark 26 almost 27 meters parrot anafi 25 meters dji mavic air 18 meters or 19 meters and the mavic oh my god and the mavic pro 11 meters now this is Fairly interesting knowledge, in my opinion. If I would have known that, well, I would still have bought the, the Anafi, but I thought I'm not allowed to buy the Air or the, or the Pro and stuff like that because of the weight. But that's just a myth, actually, as it turned out after doing a bit of research. Freaking weight doesn't matter. It's actually this 79 joule barrier, basically. So I feel kind of stupid, but it's super interesting nevertheless and i know calculating this with a calculator kind of sucks so check out this vlog for a drone energy calculator on my website is i will cover this in an upcoming vlog i need to program it but this would be an amazing app for the website hell yeah so yeah i learned a lot i hope you did too but that's enough progress for today smash the like button the way a dji mavic pro out of 30 meters will totally smash in your head <laughs> bang the bell like crap to never miss a DIY projects and vlogs like that. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.